Well, first of all, I was absolutely convinced that no one would want me. <laughs> that once I came here, they would go, oh, thank you for coming, but you're really not right. That was really sweet of you to come and visit us, but no thank you. So <laughs> we thought we were getting out of it. I think that, that um, the students here really want to do theater, but they don't know how. I don't think the other professors know how. Side. Say your last line. On the contrary, I Because I don't think there's been any theater. Now first time, I have now for the first time realized in my life the vital importance of being earnest. Everybody applause. Okay, now when the applause dies down a little bit, you guys come out. Come out? Oh. <laughs> On the stage. And off? And off? I think they just really don't understand how, how much you have to work to put it on, how it's a group activity, how you do this and you do that and we all bring it together and then somehow through all of our own creativity we create something that nobody could have done by themselves. Ma'am, what about the brochures? There is no knife. Uh, I, I said for one. What about the brochures? Plus, I mean, brochures. Uh, brochures. Even though we were up too late, and it was kind of at the last minute. I had people that had never worked on sets, uh, Muslims, Christians, um, sitting around gluing, pasting, lifting, holding pieces of material while the other person cut it. Uh, and, and they were just being people together and just being kids together and being college students together and being actors, you know, or theater people together. And it was really fun. This is the right edge. This is the finished edge, that one. Well, what the kids told me was that they gained confidence. And I think they gained, they gained an understanding of how to set a goal and how to work toward it. Yeah, it was so much hard work. We had to like really focus on our lives. Some of the students will say, if you just come and spend a couple of years here, you can really get the drama club going and the drama society going and take over. It's so political and we've got all these problems. I go, no, that's not my job. I'm here for this minute in time to direct you in this play and I will teach anybody about anything that they need to know about that I can teach them while I'm here. Can I have a script? This is my script. I have to cue the sound people. This is the bill. <laughs> You're driving me nuts right now. Okay, go put the cucumber sandwiches on there the way you want them. You're going to be brilliant. Thank you. I feel that it's not my job to, to take over or teach or say, this is the only way it can be done. I've shown them one way. Um, and now they can like add that to all the wonderful ideas they have and take off with their own creativity. My favorite actor is Russell Crowe and the lines from his movie Gladiator. Are you not entertained? No, it's also good. Uh, is also yeah. I don't and see the movies Rani. often, but I want to say that Miss Marion Murphy is my favorite. <laughs> She made me, uh, I want to say that we were not right. actors, we were not, no, no, much we more. knew <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah. She trained us, whatever we did, good or bad, but it was a great change. Yeah. We learned a lot, yeah, it will help us in our future life. Future life. And yeah. we will do better <laughs> in next semester yes. or in the next play. Or and we, will, we <laughs> would like chance. to thank her. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs>